made uh, there's so many troubling signs uh, again no evidence whatsoever of John Paddock I mean he's a ghost his uh, registration and all his records are completely wiped out from the uh, Mandalay Bay Registrar uh, and there's no video not a shred of a shadow of this person all the spin by the major so-called mainstream is blah blah lies 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 uh, I just saw Laura Loomer. Uh, th this is an incredible woman. She is my hero. She ought to be your hero. Uh, she and another person, I don't know who's the other reporter, uh, went to this uh, supposedly uh, the hero, Jesus, Jesus Campos house. The security guard, remember, supposedly saved so many lives, according to the Sheriff Lombardo, that he was trying to stop the... Uh, Shooter, the bad guy, uh, emerged the scene, like, you know, saved so many people from being shot because he supposedly confronted uh, Paddock in the hallway of the hotel room on the 32nd floor, six minutes into the shooting, supposedly, and then if he didn't show up, it wasn't for Jesus' uh, presence. He was the hero. He's awarded now by the hotel officially. He's a hero. Uh, if you see the certificate, like where is the hotel issued him the certificate. Uh, go check out what Laura Loomer, she, she is um, unbelievable. She's unbelievable. This woman was so brave. At first I just thought, well, she was trying to make a name for herself by uh, stepping up uh, to the uh, the bullies it is New York uh, well, what, what was it uh, Shakespeare modern day they were trying to uh, you know establish the imagery about stabbing Trump you know with the Caesars like really active but stabbing Trump and she's like you know wait a minute you guys can't do this she was that woman uh, I believe that she's now working for info war she went to Jesus Campos house uh, now they're just it's unbelievable that this story has fallen apart. That uh, this Jesus Campos is nowhere to be found before he was supposed to give major interviews because he was the hero. Uh, but remember I just said Lombardo, the uh, sheriff of Las Vegas, changed the timeline. So now he's no more hero. Uh, it came out and changed the timeline. Now they can change it and swap it around. It's like drag and drop or whatever like oh this part doesn't fit and uh, so now they said that it was after afterwards uh, the uh, the uh, shooting or whatever then he showed up they, they, they don't even know they can't get their story straight but let me just beg this big just bear me uh, just call me a, uh, a dreamer or whatever because I live in Hollywood I know the basic 101 about the structure of any screenplay and uh, carefully you know I don't want to say Harvey Weinstein was the uh, the brain the fall guy not the fall guy because somebody conjure up a script remember this is the script with Las Vegas shooting there's got to be the bad guy uh, this you know it's planned out like I said there was the, the evil people are so bold with Jim Moran selling his stocks. If you're saying, I better cover up, I better not sell my own stocks. He sold most of these stocks leading up to it. And fervently so, uh, like September the 6th, I think they probably just got everything like all set a go. They could probably got the green light or whatever. Uh, remember I told you about the, the pyramid that they own, the Luxor Hotel, the Death Triangle, uh, you can, I mean, you can check it out that all these, uh, talking heads, uh, you know, like on YouTube, I, I don't remember all their names, sorry, I think Alex Jones has a lot of good stuff, he's the new guy, the new guy there, the kid called Owen, got a lot of good stuff because we're asking questions. Uh, Health Rangers got a lot of good stuff that even a theory I just saw uh, which coincides with the, the helicopter. The helicopter port, the helicopter drive-by shoot, that, that would explain why there were windows and uh, shooting down the street at Bellagio. 
uh, the lady that had a clear cell phone recording of of the shooting, the gunshots in Bellagio was on the lockdown. Um, and there were several videos I saw where, you know, the ATF, the government agents, um, FBI, uh, the, the people that uh, actually came into the casinos and locked them down with uh, fully automatic weapons. So tell me, now, this is not an effort now to scare everybody, uh, to make the clear message that if you vote for Trump, we're going to come after you. They killed a bunch of so-called Trump voters. And the number 91, the row 91, uh, it's very clear. 91101. So they're relating this, they call this the, the, like the massacre. These things have tasks. They have names, the slaughter, I guess they call it. I heard the word pyramid massacre. Uh, so 91101, uh, and tell me this is not part of the uh, so-called deep state uh, story conspiracy. When I say conspiracy, it's, it's still somebody has to write the script. But uh, the script did not play out as ex exactly how they planned it, the good guy, the bad guy. They even said, like, Jesus. They even selected a name, Jesus Campos. Who he worked for? Uh, there's no registrar. He's not even registered to work as a security guard in Las Vegas. You have to be registered to be a security guard. Uh, then also, as Laura Loomer pointed out, all his records are wiped out from Mandalay Bay. He's not even an employee, but yet he got a certificate or heroic act. Uh, wait a minute, but supposedly Lombardo retracted that, that he didn't come on the scene after the shooting started. Uh, all right, like they were saying, oh, he would have stopped many more people like Sean Hannity were, were like going, oh, Jesus. And I, I, I even applauded and go, wow, no wonder it's like Jesus, the savior. So there is a storyboard behind this. And I hate to say, hmm, Harvey Weinstein, maybe because he produced the story and it fucked up. And that's probably why now, you know, uh, his world is falling apart, and surprisingly, he's not dead. <laughs> uh, I don't know. People are just mysteriously disappeared. Now, Jesus Campos, everybody wants to talk to him, he's supposed to be the hero, cannot be found. Laura Loomer went to his house in the middle of the night during the day. There were some armed guards outside of his house. This security guard has, uh, you know, supposedly he's driving a red Corvette or security guard in the firm, and uh, the, that's not even registered in the state of Nevada, drives a Corvette, and uh, he cannot be found, he's not supposed to talk. Wait a minute, why is there an armed guard? Uh, this, I beg to, uh, it's just, it's just uh, too funny that, you know, how now they, the, the story has fallen apart, and the Jim Muran and all these George Soros people, they're probably pissed off, but then they go, oh, well, let's, let's do this. Let's just send somebody out there and say, oh, he's under some kind of, uh, I guess, I don't know, protection. Protect from what? There's, remember, supposed to be one lone gunman, Stephen Paddock. He was the scapegoat. Uh, I heard someone use the word patsy. I don't like that term patsy because, hey, I'm a New England Patriots fan, and a lot of times they call a Patriots fan patsy. Uh, but it's a scapegoat. It's the same thing. So if the the evil guy is taking out the evil figure, right? Stephen Paddock got 32, 33 thousands of pounds of, of ammunition up there. Uh, and uh, what was his name? Lombardo, this uh, sheriff, was, he was saying in the first press conference, he said, I don't see how this 64-year-old man, man could do it, even if he... Uh, had the green light, meaning that nobody in Las Vegas is going to allow you to take bags and bags and long gone bags up there by yourself. Uh, you know, like I was saying to you, I went to Vegas and uh, I really didn't want to go. Just some relatives, uh, you really want to check it out. Uh, you know, even in a, in a crappy hotel, I think it was New Orleans or something, was comp, somebody comped it. 
uh, the valet grab you, literally both doors open at the same time, uh, your escort will take your bags. There's no freaking way they'll allow you to take your own bags, right? Just think about it, because these valet make money uh, and that's their jobs and also the part of surveillance that no people take their bags, all right? They park your car, take your bags. Um, so <laughs> what I was saying is, now Jesus Campos, Jesus, Jesus, uh, he disappeared from the scene because obviously the uh, uh, the bosses, the, you know, <laughs> I'm talking about uh, the mob bosses up there, the deep state people, whoever that had conjured up this scheme or allowed it to go forward, approved. Uh, just bear with me for one second. Just say, let's assume, I, I don't care how crazy it is that there was this script. Anyways, the script was like this. Okay, we're going to have this white guy, uh, you know, uh, carried out all different kinds of uh, arms and that we want to ban right because they want to display all that uh somehow go to this uh, event and shot up all these uh country music uh folks uh that's a a, a great synopsis for them to carry out and then we have to add the hero so always in the script evil guy the hero guys okay in every movie so they uh, actually ironically picked this uh person and then jose's compost uh, that's really fitting to the scenario. Oh, you want your Jesus to save you? But <laughs> watch out. The Satanists behind this made this huge sacrifice there. They're bloodthirsty and they were probably still pissed because uh, with all the, the, the firing into the crowds, I mean, I don't know how many people are shooting. It could be a drone, could be the helicopter. It's undisputable that there were you know, this this lady just said that of multiple gun people or, you know, people were firing because she said wherever she was running, uh, they were they were firing like really close, like wherever you ran. Um, and then she's now dead. This uh, young lady, 28 years old, that who survived the concert, she's now dead. Um, so what's the, the uh, chance of these people just all of a sudden Fallen dead, right and left. Uh, it's like the body count of Hillary Clinton. Everybody associated with her was going to testify just fallen dead. Uh, John Bellman all of a sudden shot himself. Uh, of course, hey, you know, I'm just a, a, I'm a nobody, right? I don't know what's going on, the gripe behind FBI and the CIA. But this much I know that... Uh, uh, and the scene of the 32nd floor where Stephen Paddock was shooting, uh, they were this uh, uh, so-called lithium battery. I can't remember saying the name. Five zero six five nine seven eight five four. It's a long name. It's a non-rechargeable battery. It's used by the Secret Service, the uh, military, uh, CIA. Supposedly, that this is what I read. Uh, I still need more help more info because if we don't know we're just gonna be dumb masses bury our heads in the sand and you know what happened when you bury your head in the sand right like the ostrich does is they get screwed in the rear head i don't want to be get screwed in the rear end so someone told me the gripe behind uh, the cia fbi uh because uh, supposedly paddock was the uh, secret arm dealer for the CIA. And uh, some, uh, somehow these uh, uh, lithium batteries, they're used as detonators as well. The Navy SEAL uses them. Uh, anyways, so maybe he uh, was somehow, uh, you know, trying to make a sale of these uh, arms, uh, or he somehow obtained the secret, secret um so-called weapons or communication devices that they're uh, sold by the uh, Ultra Life Corporation. So, by the way, the Ultra Life Corporation, uh, who made these lithium batteries, just received a contract from uh, who else? The government, right? For 
little under, it's not much, $49 million. So they're saying, yeah, let's keep it under 50. So they try to play with the numbers too. So that like, as if, oh, that's not gonna catch anybody's attention. Oh, it's only 49 million, it's not $50 million. So maybe they have a certain ceiling that they have to meet to um, not trigger maybe a congressional hearing. I don't know. So it's right under the, the uh, ceiling of 59, or I mean $50 million that just granted 48 hours after this John Bellman, the inventor of that lithium battery slash detonator, a detonator, uh, pardon me. So somebody tried to help me out with this link here. Uh, of course we know, I don't know who, I, and in fact that uh, I said that FBI killed him, probably say I did it. It's one or the other. All right, so. Obviously, FBI is pissed off. They went after this guy, Bellman, and, you know, blah, 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 and want to make him talk. How did this uh, detonator end up in uh, the CIA's hands? Uh, I suppose it goes way back to, uh, I, I, I don't know, the FBI back in the days so, of uh, Hoover. Anyways, uh, this, uh, this whole thing, the gripe between the FBI and the uh, CIA, uh, they should be played out. They will be played out. And this this uh, ridiculous uh, cover-up of this Jesus Campos, uh, that's just uh, incredible. Now, the script didn't work. I would say, you know, Harvey Weinstein, you probably ought to hire better script writes, or they dry around it a few times, I'm sure. That's probably why they were... These uh, may look like these women running around 45 minutes or an hour before the concert started and frantically try to tell people that you're all going to be dead. So basically, these women disappear. Um, so there must have been dry runs and, and now the gag order is from Mandalay Bay. Uh, it's a fear tactic all the way. Uh, stinks to the high heavens. Uh, again, I'm only one person. Uh, I don't know. I'm looking into the camera. Wow. Huh. Uh, I suppose I'm trying to get some color from the sun, and it looks like I'm getting a lot of color from the sun. So, uh, bless this Laura Loomer in the continual investigation. And shame on you, the mainstream media, and you're not reporting and not finding out what the hell is going on with this Jesus Campos. He wouldn't, uh, or he's being uh, put on the gag order as well. They don't want him to talk because, you know, they don't want you to know too much. Because he can say, when, uh, it, when you're trying to make up a story, this is what you want to do is try to have as little witness as possible. So the hero character failed in the script of this Las Vegas, uh, supposedly this uh, uh, gun fanatic, blah, blah, blah. He was a normal guy, uh, according to Steve Wynn. He was a regular guy, paddock guy. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. That uh, frequent all the casinos, always pay his bill, VIP in a lot of places, never had any problems. So. Uh, I guess that he was the perfect goat, scapegoat for for this whole, uh, uh, should we call the Illumina Illuminati uh, conspiracy setup. Um, uh, also, what I, I want to mention was unseen, unseen security was the one that are standing outside of Jesus, this hero's uh, outside of his house. Uh, the guy did say he's, he had a shirt on scene, and Laura Loomer actually looked it up. On scene, it's a uh, it's a conjurer of the company. It's not even registered in Las Vegas. So, who would put these actors out there? No, no, they are really actors. I believe on scene sounds like a uh, one of those uh, companies that will give you people like manpower. It, you know, if you pay them money. Uh, they'll send it to your protest or whatever. If you find out more about Unseen, please let me know. And uh, this lady, uh, or I don't know if it's a lady or a man, but it's called Love First. It was uh, posting videos uh, right underneath 
on my videos so I did check out some of them um, I did say earlier uh, change your uh, icon because that little creature it is kind of creepy <laughs> so uh, please post your picture uh, I, I mean I like to you know get to know or 